Folks, when it rains, it pours this time of year. Tropical rain can be serious stuff, and this was the scene in Harlingen late this afternoon into this evening. Elizabeth White sent us this picture. Just look how the whole yard, the street, everything flooded. Water's not all that deep, but it's deeper than it should be, and that's just about two and a half to three inches of rain fell that caused this, and, and yes, it's a lot of rain. It fell really hard for a couple of hours, but still, that was just a couple of inches of rain. Hate to think of what will happen if we get a big storm in here, but watch that again. You see the stuff firing up right over Harlan, just sitting there for a while and caused all kinds of street flooding. If you want to see more pictures, check out the KRGV Weather Facebook page. There's a bunch of pictures there uh, shared with us by our viewers today. We appreciate that. When you look at the map, and we'll go into Harlingen and look how much rain Doppler radar estimates. It says about 2.6, and the airport out here on this side of town was about the same. Get a little north, about the same amount. You get down to Los Fresnos, about 1.9. There's a big bullseye right along the ship channel, just south of the ship channel, of almost three inches of rain there. And then the most rain of all was out in Willacy County, the eastern part of the county, 4.6 inches south the San Perlita, about 3.5. North of that, Raymondville barely getting any rain at all out of that mess. So let's look at our ground truth. That's our storm trackers reporting from around the valley. And the airport in Harlingen, pretty close to what the Doppler estimated, 2.57 inches, and that caused the flooding you saw. 2.2 central far, Upper Valley getting in on the act as well. Edinburgh West, 2.06. The island got almost two inches of rain. The airport north of Edinburgh, 1.61. Here's some more. McAllen Airport over an inch of rain. Then you see some other totals from across the valley. It just depends on where you were, but some places picked up some good stuff. And take a look at this. I mean, this is the spin right up here of this little disturbance that's just kind of hanging out just off the coast. You can still see it just a little bit to the north of Corpus Christi and it hasn't moved much today, but there's so much moisture associated with that that it just triggers showers and thunderstorms and it did so right over the valley during the uh, daytime hours today. A little quieter tonight, but likely it will pick up again tomorrow. Look at future track. She scattered stuff along the coast in the morning and then you see stuff inland during the course of the daytime and with that heavy rain of possibility. Now watch this. This. On Wednesday, watch how this moisture starts to spin back off to the west. See that circular motion in all of this? This model indicates that that thing spinning up around Corpus just kind of slides back to the southwest. If that happens, we really get into the rainfall. Right now, we're looking at days like today for tomorrow and again on Wednesday and perhaps again on Thursday. But if that thing actually moves to the southwest, we could end up with even more. There's your rain chances, 70, 70, and 60. Here's how much rain the model's predicting. This is through tomorrow night. This is on top of what we had today. Anywhere from one to three inches, three and a half inches in some places. And you can't focus on the actual numbers in a town, but you just get the idea of what we're talking about. We go on into Wednesday, the numbers go up some more. And you go into Thursday and they keep going up. Bottom line on this is one to five inches possible between now and the end of the day, Thursday, and it may not be over then. There's a system. Hurricane Center says it's probably not going to develop anymore, but it is going to slide back to the west and perhaps the southwest. It's hard to say exactly what that circulation is going to end up, but notice there's an awful lot of green over the valley. That means our rain chances are going to continue all the way through the rest of the week, probably fading in time for the weekend. So tonight, mostly cloudy. Spotty showers mainly near the coast and then tomorrow showers and storms, a 70% chance of rain. And if it rains, it could be heavy like today could cause flooding of low lying areas, streets. Harlingen was a mess today. A lot of Harlingen was a mess because of the rain and that could happen anywhere in the valley for the next three days for sure. Friday, I think we start to taper things off. I think there's spotty stuff Friday. And then the weekend, for the most part, should be dry. A stray shower, spotty shower, nothing big. But boy, I tell you what, the next three days, the four, this is as moist, I think, as I've ever seen the air in the valley. There's just so much moisture. You can feel it. Right. Humidity is really high, and it doesn't take much. A little daytime heating, and boom, it all falls out. I mean, it's messy, but we needed it, right? Well, we need the rain, that's for sure. And as long as it doesn't flood us, it just gives us some much-needed stuff. That'll be helpful. Okay.